The Mongol Empire conquered the Karakitai in the years 1216-1218 AD. Prior to the invasion, war with the Khwarazmian dynasty and the usurpation of power by the Naiman prince Kuchlug had weakened the Karakitai. When Kuchlug besieged Al-Malik, a city belonging to the Karluks, vassals of the Mongol Empire, Genghis Khan dispatched a force under commander Jebba to pursue Kuchlug. After his force of 30,000 was defeated by Jebba at the Katan capital Balazoun, Kuchlug faced rebellions over his unpopular rule, forcing him to flee to modern Afghanistan, where he was captured by hunters in 1218. The hunters turned Kuchlug over to the Mongols, who beheaded him. Upon defeating the Karakitai, the Mongols now had a direct border with the Khwarazmian Empire, which they would soon invade in 1219. Background After Genghis Khan defeated the Naimans in 1204, Naiman Prince Kuchlug fled his homeland to take refuge among the Karakitai. The Gurk and Yelujilagu welcomed Kuchlug into his empire, and Kuchlug became an advisor and military commander eventually marrying one of the daughters of Jilagu. However, during a war with the bordering Karmazmian dynasty, Kuchlug initiated a coup d'etat against Jilgu. After Kuchlug took power, he allowed Jilgu to rule the Karakitai in name only. When the Gherkin died in 1213, Kuchlug took direct control of the Khanate. Originally a Nestorian, once among the Kitai Kuchlug converted to Buddhism and began persecuting the Muslim majority, forcing them to convert to either Buddhism or Christianity, a move which alienated Kuchlug from most of the population. When Kuchlug besieged the Karluk city of Al-Malik, the Karluks, vassals of the Mongol Empire, requested aid from Genghis Khan. Invasion In 1216, after requesting Muhammad II of Khwarezm not to aid Kuchlug, Genghis Khan dispatched General Jebba with two Tumans to deal with the Karakitai threat. While sending Subatai with another two Tumans on a simultaneous campaign against the Merkits, the two armies traveled alongside each other through the Altai and Tarbagatai mountains until arriving at Al-Malik. At that point, Subata turned southwest, destroying the Merkits and protecting Jeb's flank against any sudden attacks from Khwarezm. Jeba relieved Al-Malik, then moved south of Lake Borkash into the lands of the Karakitai, where he besieged the capital of Balazaun. There, Jeba defeated an army of 30,000 troops and Kuchlug fled to Kashga, taking advantage of the unrest fermenting under Kuchlug's rule. Jeba gained support from the Muslim populace by announcing that Kuchlug's policy of religious persecution had ended. When Jeb's army arrived at Kashgar in 1217, the populace revolted and turned on Kuchlug, forcing him to flee for his life. Jeba pursued Kuchlug across the Pamir Mountains into Badakhshan in modern Afghanistan. According to Arta Malik Uvaina, a group of hunters caught Kuchlug and handed him over to the Mongols, who promptly beheaded him. Aftermath with the death of Kuchlug, the Mongol Empire secured control over the Karakitai, another segment of the Karakitai, from a dynasty founded by Burak Hajib, survived in Kerman as vassals of the Mongols, but ceased to exist as an entity during the reign of the Mongol Ilkhanid ruler Old Juraichu. The Mongols now had a firm outpost in Central Asia directly bordering the Khwarezm Empire. Relations with the Khwarezms would quickly break down, leading to the Mongol invasion of that territory. 